Commission on Human Rights, CHR, Box, Senate on Financial Products and Services, Consumer Protection Bill, the Commission on Human Rights, CHR, supports Senate Bill Number Two Two. 87 on the financial products and services consumer protection act to protect consumers of financial products and services filed by senator Sherwin Win Gachalian SB 2287 aims to institutionalize proper mechanism to protect the interest of consumer while balancing the same with the furtherance of conduct of business of financial service providers if the bill becomes a law it will protect the rights of consumers to equitable and fair treatment to disclosure and transparency of financial products and services against fraud and misuse to data privacy and protection and to timely handling and readiness of complaints in a statement commission on human rights CHR spokesperson Jacqueline Ann De Gia said that it is high time to ensure that there is an enabling law that affords additional protection to Filipino consumers who fall prey to exploitative entities due to lack of access to financial and digital information. Such unfortunate events demand further regulation of financial consumer protection compliance, she said. Because of the recent growth of financial products and services in the country, specifically in the digital environment, the government must enact a legislation that would safeguard financial consumers' rights against fraud and other unscrupulous activities she pointed out at the same time the guia said the commission on human rights chr also supports the institutionalization of a protection mechanism that allows consumers both to know and to assert their rights and to have their complaints addressed and resolved in a transparent and just way she said through this proposed 
bill. The commission also underscores the rights of Filipinos to disclosure and transparency of financial products and services, data, privacy, and protection, and timely handling of redness of complaints. Now that we are still in the middle of a pandemic and a lot of people are experiencing the economic impact caused by COVID-19. The Commission emphasizes the timely passage of this legislation to put an end to exploitative practices that further bury Filipinos into deeper financial hardships, she stressed. She added, the government agencies should boost their educational efforts to raise the financial and digital literacies of the Filipino public to avoid being victimized by unfair and abusive transactions.